Hello, welcome to this video for the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. It is the uh, 310, classed as a short wheelbase one. Uh, on the Auto Trader advert, for some reason, it classes it as a high roof. It's not actually a high roof, I think it's a medium or low roof, this one. Uh, unfortunately, on the logbook, it doesn't state if it's a high or medium roof van. But the Auto Trader has picked it up as a high roof. So we do apologise if you're looking for a high roof one. Anyway, as you can see, the van is in really clean condition. However, it, it has been involved in an insurance claim, a category N light damage frontal. So this one, apparently the front, somebody stole the parts off it. So it had a replacement grill, uh, headlights, etc. And a bonnet, apparently. So it was stolen. The parts were stolen off the front. This was over, uh, I think it was about a year or two ago, it was done. So we don't usually sell vans. As you can see, we're a, we're a car, car sales. So we sell the prestige cars, etc. But this one, this van belongs to a friend of ours, a good friend of ours, and uh, he's in the next village, and uh, he's gone and leased a van. So this one is surplus to requirements, he's owned it over a year now very clean let's go from the outside let's check every panel this panel's clean Got a slight mark there on the paintwork very very slight there's a little bit of a touch in there for some reason that was slightly cracked on the paint there for some reason. Headlights very good. Bumpers very good. The grill, well it's practically as new the grill. The windscreen's very good. There's no cracks, probably a very, very, very minor. Oh, there's one there, a little tiny, I don't even see a little tiny, right in the middle there, a little tiny chip. That's about as bad as it gets on that windscreen, so good for one of these because usually nine times out of ten these have got cracks in for some reason so this has got no cracks in this one this corner is very clean this wing is very clean all the tyres are really good matching as well I've shown you the uh, tyres in the uh, in the photos the hunger photos on the auto trade advert as well uh, back to the wing mirror is good especially this one this is the wing mirror that gets most of the action should we say so that's very good a uh, little, little tiny bit of a tiny bit of a crack there you can see it but it's not water letting in water or anything like that like I said these are so common these for getting uh, bashed around on the uh, wing, wing mirror here this side very good condition very tidy a very very minor very minor dent there can you, I don't know if you can see that very minor you can hardly see it hang on I think just about there. Okay. That wheel there, that tyre. Very good tyre. This is the quarter that everyone seems to get damaged because it's the uh, left turn corner. And this is very good. It doesn't look like it's uh, been damaged. So it's a very good uh, passenger's quarter. The panels are very clean. It's got reverse parking sensors, as you can see there. This back door is very clean. You can just about see the uh, some vinyls from before, from the previous owners. It's the 310, 310 CDI. All the corners are very, very clean. The lights are in great condition on the corners as well. This panel's clean. So is this one. Like I say, four matching tyres. All the black plastic's nice and clean. Everything really good. Let's, uh, well, let's show you back of this mirror. This mirror is very clean as well. A little slight mark there on the edge. Nothing major. So that's the outside done. 
inside okay the mirror, mirror glasses as well as you can see no damage to that mirror glass there or that one there as you can see no cracks and no mirror glasses missing inside very clean inside this one very clean so all the door pockets all nice and clean electric windows they both work as well both electric windows work all this is very clean the foot pedals all proper clean driver's seat for the mileage superb condition for the mileage that driver's seat absolutely superb we've got one key with this one to be fair it was an extra it does list on the Mercedes um, features when it's new an option for two keys so these do come standard with one key uh, up here you've got the drinks holder up here you've got the USB uh, input port and the AUX input port just turned 160 so oh, sorry 176,000 miles okay as you can see and also if I switch the engine off now I'll show you the lights what come on and off of the dash they're all there so you can see the engine management lights there the airbag lights there the ABS light everything's there so we start the engine and they all go out so perfect uh, it's got the uh, controls on the steering wheel as you can see uh, you've got the stalk there you've got the light switches we've got the six-speed manual gear lever you've got the drinks holder here drinks holder a little coin tray cigarette tray there look it's got no cigarette ash in it that's just got some staples so there you go some little bits and bobs so it's not being smoked in as such it doesn't even smell of smoke there's the radio obviously there's no CD player with this because it's a 2015 65 red in fact it's a very late 2015 it's registered 28th of December so it's almost a 2016 model this one so obviously no CD player because you've got the aux uh, and the USB input port there document holder there some more there you've got your glove box there with all the uh, information so as you can see here it's 28th no 24th Christmas Eve so 24th of the 12th 2015 uh, that's the variant model the version model whichever that means it says there it's a sprinter 310 CDI panel van light goods vehicle 3500 kg gross maximum weight so that's three and a half ton 2143 cc so a 2.1 turbo diesel heavy oil there we go so on the log book here the bottom no special notes because it's a cat n which is very light damage which means it was uh, like i said parts were stolen so there's nothing on that log book there printed to say it was a write-off but it's just a light damage uh, a new mot as you can see all the tires are good i've drove this uh, car and it's fantastic um it's the when was this passed so expiry date is uh there we go is the 7th of the 1st 2022 however we're going to get this re-MOT'd because obviously we're not too far away from January now we're in October at the time of this video so October November December January three months is no good for anybody so we're going to put it uh, through a new MOT we're going to take it back to this garage actually we'll do it last time it's only down the road they'll they'll do the MOT again um two former keepers Two former keepers on this one. What else? Uh, we've got the storage up here, and up here, and up here. We've got the massive sun visors. They're all in good condition. All the clips are there. They're not broken. This seat is very clean. Very clean. <laughs> so then we're going to lift the seat up. Just look under here. We've got a bit of uh, sound deadening this. So it's sound deadening. So this is a storage. So that's where the storage is. That seat pops back up. Put that back there. Got the handbrake down there. You've got this partition here. All the headlining is very clean. No greasy marks or anything. The first owner was the uh, Van Hire company called, is it Six? Six. They, they owned it. And the second owner of this uh i think it was the insurance company 
uh, when the insurance company took it off six, they had to register it in their name. And uh, our friend uh, Danny bought it and he's had it ever since. No trouble at all. I've drove it really good. Uh, no crunching in the gears at all. Very smooth, six speed. Uh, no rattles over the bumps at all. The brakes work beautifully. No squeaking. Gosh, I'm really selling it to this one, aren't I? So here we go, the fuel flap there. All oh, that's all clean. The electric window as well. Open the side door. There we go. Partition there, very clean. All oh, that's clean down here. Oh, it's got the locks as well, security lock on that side door and the rear door. We've got keys to those as well. Keys are on the key ring, so security locks. Uh, inside very clean, looks like these two um, wheel arch liners have been replaced, they're new. That's new, new plywood that on there, it still smells new. Uh, so yeah, inside very clean, it's got this grab handle here to grab to when we get up into this wagon. So just grab that. I can almost stand up straight in it, I am 5 foot 11. So I think someone at 5 foot 9 could stand up in this one. So it could be turned into a bit of a camper, if need be. Obviously ply lined as well. Uh, that's about it. I'll pop the bonnet, to look under the bonnet, so you can see if, you, if there's anything out of the ordinary you can spot. Okay, so there's the engine, as it should be, nice and dusty, not been cleaned, look down here, everything's nice and dirty, as it should be. I've had a good look round it. It doesn't look like there's any nuts or bolts missing or clips. So there we have it, I'll just walk around it once more. I even go under the arch, see if we see anything there. Okay, so just walk around it once more and we're done. I mean, I personally used to be a sign fitter 20, 20 years ago before I did the car trade, and I used to have a Ford Transit banana engine one. I remember, you know, a van is part of your business. Get a nice van, good looking, pretty new like this one, sign right it up, and uh, you know, you can charge the customer accordingly. As long as you turn up to the job presentable, it's a good advertisement for your business. And this really does tick the boxes. Good size, you can park it in a uh, town centre, city centre parking bay without no trouble because it's the short wheelbase one. Obviously long wheelbase ones you end up taking up one and a half space and it's not good. So yeah, this is good for the contractors for shop fitting. Uh, and that is uh, a three metres, that is uh, just over ten feet that. I think it's three metres and a little bit. So that's just enough. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you get in touch soon. Thank you.